Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode where today we're actually playing Hypixel Skyblock and for the reason we're playing Hypixel Skyblock it's actually completely irrelevant to what we're talking about today. Today we're doing a commentary video where I'm going to talk about a thing about my YouTube channel and usually I like to play like something like Sky Wars for this but the problem is that I'm really bad at Sky Wars and in order for my look I don't have a very long attention span all right in order for me to keep a running commentary I need to actually you know have a minute to sit and chill and think about what I'm talking about but it's kind of hard to do that when you die like within two seconds before even leaving your island because you don't understand man sky wars it is it's gotten so sweaty lately it's it's not even funny man it's no joke and i am like unless you know unless you're a rod god who can god bridge and butterfly click you shouldn't even try at this point and and the new updates that the admins are adding are just not helping the situation but that's not what we're talking about today so today instead we're playing high pixel sky block as i genocide countless countless undead mobs but i mean they're already dead so it's technically not murder i think that's how it works anyways so originally i used to play a lot of games like sky wars and bed wars on this channel it was a pvp centered channel but the problem as i mentioned earlier is that the pv the minecraft pvp community is just so incredibly sweaty like to an unreasonable degree and normally that's okay but the problem is that i'm a very competitive person now don't get me wrong like i'm okay with fighting people who are better than me in fact i actually want to fight people who are better than me because then if i win it feels extra good and even if i don't i'm actually gonna improve but that only works if they're better than you to a certain degree man because it's one thing if you're fighting someone who's like twice as good as you at least you can kind of like learn something and you still have like a small chance of getting a victory every now and again but if you're fighting a game where with 12 people and all of them and i'm dooming all of them are like seven times better than you all of them can god bridge all of them are rod sweats all of them are drag clicking you know it, it's not even like you're not learning anything at this at that point it's just kind of demoralizing and that's not very good because for my youtube channel and the videos that i want to make i need to be in a good headspace when i'm recording them because that's something that i'm noticing a lot as editing the videos and playing with friends is i'll try to do something but then after a certain point of us just getting completely destroyed like on spawn i'll find my like the competitiveness will mix with the demoralization of literally dying before I like even spawn into the game. And it's just, it, that's not a very good headspace to be in when you're trying to record an entertaining YouTube video, man. And so that's the reason that over time my channel kind of moved towards more survival based content. I did a bunch of different, I tried multiple times to create like an SMP with my friends for survival Minecraft and most of them failed immediately for various reasons until we got to the attributes SMP. Now the attributes SMP was actually very successful and the only reason I really left that is because it was inconsistent to get content on that server. So it was an origin server with about seven other people but the problem with it was that I was only able to get content when interesting things were happening so in order for me to make a video First, something interesting would have to happen. Then, at least one other person would have to see that the potential in the situation and take advantage of it. Because if it was just me, it, just, it doesn't go very far. There's no point in doing an SMP. And then, we need to actually get lucky enough to get good footage out of it. Because when, it, when you're doing collabs every episode, it's always a roll of the dice whether or not you're going to get good footage, is what I'm learning. And so that's why I inevitably... That's the real reason that I left the Attributes SMP. Like, granted, I did, like, a big speech at the end about how frustrated I was that the server keeps ending in flames. Because that is something that kind of happened. It didn't actually happen... Like, immediately, the server stayed open for a while, but then things did spiral out of control, like, genuinely after a little bit. So I had that speech about, you know, how frustrated I was getting with the whole SMP idea of failing over and over and over. And how annoyed I was with always putting together these huge collab events, and then it just doesn't work out. But the real reason that I think I should move away from, uh, the collabs is because, once again, it's just not a consistent way to get footage. Like, you'll get really, really good footage... But you only get enough of it to upload, like, once a month at best, man. Like, I don't have the free time available to do, like, to build a mega base. So I can't just make normal survival content consistently. And as well as, while everyone on that server was technically a YouTuber, there were only, like, two or three people on the server who really understood how 
content creation work or how to like take advantage of an interesting situation and so most of the time there'd be this cool thing happen that would like possibly go off in an amazing direction and then everybody involved in it would just like immediately like just walk away or get frustrated or do the most boring possible thing and so i just can't use it that's another thing that i probably should have addressed in that video is the fact that i keep relying on other people to be funny when i do collabs but i need to get out of the headspace because so far i've been thinking of like if you make youtube videos you're a youtuber but no that's not how it works you're not a youtuber just because you make videos is what i'm learning and so I've, whenever i do these collabs i've been treating the people who i collaborate with as if they know what they're doing and like they're professional youtubers but what i need to realize is that that's just not the case we are all normal people i know i'm irrelevant i don't have subscribers man and so i need to stop relying on other people and on collabs to make content out of and so i started trying to get back into hypixel but dude Dude, it, you don't even understand, man. It's even sweatier than it was last time I played. That's why we're playing Skyblock today, because I literally couldn't even, like, I couldn't even play Skywars, man. Not even in, like, I couldn't get any wins, but I mean, like, I couldn't leave my island, like, at all. By the time, like, every 10 games, I'd get off my island. And even when I did get off, like, by the time I got there, all the big chests were looted and everybody was dead. And this is not, it's not like I'm taking 10 years on my island either. It's like, this is the first 20 seconds of the game and it's already over, man. My attention span can't handle this. And then I do Bed Wars because those are longer games typically. But the problem with Bed Wars for me is that it's a much more strategy focused game. You need to think about who you're rushing and who's rushing you. And you got to come up with ways to get around the other player's defenses. And I'm, and the thing is with this video, so I'm trying to talk about something in a way that makes me sound like I know what I'm talking about. And it's very hard to do while also playing video games intelligently. And so instead we're playing Skyblock, which is a game that requires absolutely no thought whatsoever because it's just mindlessly repeating the same task over and over. I've been here for about two and a half hours. Now I could do a Hypixel Skyblock series because Skyblock is actually the most popular game on Hypixel by a pretty huge margin but the problem with skyblock is that it takes 12,000 years to do anything like you guys don't know this but on four separate occasions i have tried to start a hypixel skyblock series but every time it's like i'll spend a month straight grinding to try and get something done i'll look over across all the footage and i'll realize that i haven't made any substantial progress because everything you do in that game just takes 12,000 years man i don't have time for that i don't have like i don't do this full time man and even when i do make substantial progress it doesn't really matter because everybody else has already made that same progress a thousand times over within the community it's it's nothing new. People watch Hypixel Skyblock videos to see like the crazy new things, like the new updates, and as well to see all the crazy grinding that those players do. But the thing is, I'm too far behind the rest of the community to realistically catch up, and I don't have enough free time to do like any crazy grinding things for larger videos. Plus, once again, my major priority right now is to get watch hours, and that's a very hard thing to do if you don't upload consistently. So I don't want to make content in which I have to deal with the Minecraft PvP community. I don't want to rely on other people for the video to be funny, because then it's just super inconsistent as to when i can actually upload and i want to be able to upload on a consistent basis so that i can actually like grow my channel and actually do things rather than just becoming completely irrelevant i'm already completely irrelevant but more so you know it's like i've done the math i know what i need to do to grow my channel it's just a very slow process and the i the mistakes i keep making are not helping me out here the problem as well is that i'm gonna have even less time to make videos going forwards because like summer break is coming up that would make sense as to why i'd have more time to make youtube videos but, but the problem is this summer i'm actually getting like a full-time job over the summer so it's not actually gonna increase the amount of videos i can make so what am I gonna do about this situation? What am I gonna do on my channel moving forwards for like actual content? And thinking about that, the attributes SMP, it was very inconsistent. It destroyed my upload schedule entirely, but it actually pulled a huge number of views for my channel. Some of the most viewed videos on my channel are from that server. So what I need to do is I need to create a similar series that is more consistent for uploading. But I also don't want it to like crash and burn in flames like the attributes SMP did. And so I think what I should probably do is I'm going to try and get into survival Minecraft because survival challenges and modded survival are actually very huge in the Minecraft community from what I've been seeing. Now I've tried a few times to do this in the past like occasionally but it was always kind of overshadowed by other goals that i had at the time 
And not to mention, I was still very new to YouTube at the time, so I wasn't really sure how to make interesting content out of survival mode. That's a big part of why I got into PvP initially, is because it was I was always playing with somebody else, and once again, I got into that habit of relying on other people to make the content good, but that's not what I need to do. If you want to succeed on YouTube, you be, need to be the one that makes the content, alright? You can't have anyone else making it for you. You can't rely on other people in this platform. You know that saying where it's like, the best storytellers are usually the people who have a story to tell? That is complete idiocracy. I have seen people and met people who have the greatest stories of all time to tell, but then they tell the story and it just sucks. Alright? No, the greatest storytellers are the people who know how to tell a story. And I think that same thing is going to apply to my YouTube channel a lot going forwards. A funny person doesn't have funny things happen to them. A funny person makes mundane things funny. And so that's what I need to work on. And that's another reason I think a single player like survival series could be really well. Because it's going to teach me how to make content out of nothing. Because survival Minecraft, it's not always the most interesting thing. You need to do something yourself intentionally to make content if you want to do that kind of survival minecraft stuff and so it's gonna force me to learn how to make content independently of other people and how to make funny content out of nothing the thing is i don't want to just do regular survival because a that's boring and b if i add like some twist to it i know it's gonna get like twelve thousand views so i gotta think of different things that I can do to make a normal survival series more interesting. Now, I've tried adding other people into the mix, and once again, we just talked about that, that doesn't work out. I could set goals for myself that I need to achieve throughout the series, I could make rules for myself that'll make it harder to play the game, or I can add some kind of mod or alteration to the game to make it different from vanilla Minecraft. Now, adding goals sounds like a good idea in theory, because it gives me something to work towards, but it means that once that goal has been fulfilled, suddenly the series loses all of its, like, flair and stuff. People are going to stop watching after that point. And so it's definitely a very temporary fix. The second one, adding, like, limitations to make the game harder, could work. But for, like, a running series, I don't know if it's a good idea. Because you're just taking survival Minecraft and making it more tedious and boring than it already is. Videos where you have, like, a challenge or some limitation, those are better for, like, one-off videos. Where it's, like, you have to beat the Ender Dragon without pressing the space bar or something like that. And so the third option is to add a mod to the game that'll change the game entirely. Because the Origins mod was on the Attributes SMP. And that helped a lot for the first episode. But the problem is that the Origins mod is definitely a very early game mod it is designed to be messed around with in the early game it is not balanced or at all really impactful as you get into the later stages of the game and that's why the origins mod kind of lost its flair after the first episode because from that point onwards it wasn't really relevant to the series anymore it was just like some background details so we need a mod that will be interesting and change the gameplay throughout the entire minecraft experience so i need something that's not just like a superpower mod or a mod that'll add like something new to the game i need something that will fundamentally change minecraft entirely there are a few good candidates for this the create mod is a good one but i don't know there's always a possibility that there's like some other mod out there that i could use for a survival series that's just gonna revolutionize all of youtube and yeah you know, if anybody has an idea for that let me know in the comments man i want to figure this out because i haven't finalized anything yet i'm just spitballing ideas man because this is what i need to do i need to do a singular series where i and only i am working to create content i don't want to have anyone else in control of it i don't even want to like collaborate with anyone for it because this is the kind of thing where i need to do it myself that i can learn how to properly make content because with a youtube channel like this i need to build up a brand and the way you build up a brand on youtube isn't around a game or a specific like type of content well i mean it is but a huge part of brand for Minecraft videos is the personality of the, the YouTuber. And so I need to use that to my advantage. And I can't do that if every episode is just me doing like a collab with someone. So I want to do something that's like purely my project moving forward. And so I guess, I guess the moral of the story is uh, if you guys have any mods or cool ideas for a survival series or any real single player series, you know, let me know. Like, I mean, I have the Undertale thing, but that's more of a background project man that's not something that i'm actually going to be really putting that much effort into so uh yeah that's the point of this video give me ideas for what i can do and i'll uh see if i can do them 
So uh, anyways, uh, here are some end screens. You can click on this one. This is a link to the Attributes SMP series that I did. Or you can click on this one over here. That's uh, I'm not actually sure what it is, but I'm sure you'll like it because YouTube th seems to think that you will. That's how it works. It's it's the most it's the video on my channel that YouTube thinks you will most enjoy. I'm sure you'll love it. Anyways, um, watch those. I need watch hours. Bye.